Chapter 111, The Downside of Playing Games Yesterday, at the gathering of the Wind and Moon Pavilion Despite its small size, Origin Internet Cafe had posed a great threat to many businesses in Zhuhui City. The casinos, Kin Mountain Beast Garden, and even brothels, which had been highly profitable businesses, were now feeling the impact. Under the push of certain people, the upper-class figures in Zhuhui City began to turn their attention to the unusual phenomena. Started by Pang Rally and led by Huo Chung, they gathered together to discuss how to deal with a small shop that came from the blue. Kin Bing came for this purpose. As the director of Lingyan Academy, Kin Bing supervised the four houses, Heaven, Earth, Zhuan, and Huang. His power was only next to that of the old Academy Master and the Vice Masters. In the past years, he had gradually taken over the responsibility of making rules for the entire academy and had become a part of the management of Lingyan Martial Arts Tower. The rumors said that he would become a vice master of the academy after one of the current vice masters retired. It was even possible that he could become the academy master and manage the entire Lingyan Academy in the future. However, in this key period of his career, some disciples kept skipping classes and went to play in the internet cafe. He couldn't allow such things to continue. Both the disciples who skipped classes and Origin Internet Club became his targets. With his identity, he naturally sat at the head of the first table. The guests sitting at this table had high status. If he hadn't organized the meeting, Pang Rally wouldn't have been qualified to sit among them. As the manager of the Wind and Moon Pavilion, Xiang Heking took care of most of the affairs in the business and the owner of the business didn't come to the gathering. Master Huo, what do you propose? Wearing a silky black robe, Xiang Heking looked as meticulous as the Wind and Moon Pavilion which was under his management. In my opinion, we should ask Enhui to close the shop. While Qin Bing spoke, the white hairs on his temples shook with anger. Elder Qin, calm down, calm down. You're busy managing Lingyan Academy, and I guess that you didn't have time to follow the news in Zhuhui City. Huo Chung cupped his hands and said, After some investigation, I found that this shop has a solid background and powerful customers. If we try to close the shop, we might encounter some resistance. Is there anyone who dares to work against Lingyan Academy? Qin Bing didn't choose to think that this whole incident was a big issue, but he began to realize that this shop wasn't as simple as he had imagined from the scale of this gathering and the great concern which the influential figures here showed. Huo Chong leaned over and said one word in his deep voice, Nailin. The head. Qin Bing's face turned grim. He stroked his beard and said, This issue is not simple. For the time being, we must be careful with our methods, Huo Chong said. Master Huo, what's your plan? Pang Rally asked. First, we can cut into the issue from the perspective of the side effects, Huo Chong said. Side effects? Pang Rally asked curiously, the shop has been open for a long time, so it shouldn't have caused any side effects, right? If we are picky Xiang Heking snorted, how about its customers getting drunk and making trouble in my business? Huo Chong chuckled. It doesn't count. He knew that such small incidents couldn't overturn Origin Internet Club. He clapped his hands and a young man who looked like him quickly came out with documents. He told this young man, Feng, distribute them to the guests. Yes, father. The young man nodded and handed the documents to the guests. August 3rd, in the southern region of Zhuhui City, Wang Qiyuan, who was 16 years old, got addicted to games to the point that he couldn't tell the virtual world from reality. He jumped down from a 15-meter tall cliff. Yelling sword control technique. He died of the fatal injuries sustained from the fall. August 5th, in the southwest region of Zhuhui City, Zhu Changi, who was a free warrior, wanted to get money for playing games, so he robbed an old man from the Yang family. He was imprisoned by Zhuhui City for robbery. August 9th, Qin Bing read the documents and asked in astonishment, Are they real? After looking at his son, Huo Chang put on a meaningful smile. About 80% of the stories were exaggerated but they looked real. They had prepared the documents for a long time. Otherwise, the gathering would have been held earlier. Huo Chong nodded and said in an indignant tone, These games look harmless, but in fact, look at the real cases in your hands. Who can say that the games have no side effects? Every player keeps thinking of playing the games once they get hooked. Isn't it the side effect? Huo Chong asked in a loud voice, like drugs. They are addictive. They can make people lose their mind. That is why we must boycott this small shop and these games. Huo Chong said coldly, We must declare war on this stuff. Besides, you must never try anything from this small shop. Huo Chong looked around and said, 
otherwise, you'll get addicted and can never get yourself out. His words struck fear into many people's mind, and they decided to avoid the games as if they were poisonous snakes. I hope that you can spread these words to your family, relatives, and customers and ask them to join the boycott. Well said. King Bing slammed the table and stood up as he shouted, I'll do my best. At least, none of the disciples of the Lingyan Academy will set foot into this small shop in the future. After opening his shops in the morning, Fangki went back to sleep and didn't get up until near noon. When he went downstairs, Fangki found that there were only a few people in the shop. He glanced around and asked Jiang Ziyu, what's wrong? How would I know? The lowly who was sitting behind the counter looked around the shop in bafflement, saying, there were only a few customers this morning. Strange. Usually, the shop would be full at this hour, but it was still empty today. Jiang Ziyu was anxious. What happened? Then, she glanced at Fang Qi. Hey, why do you look so calm? Don't worry. I don't care if they come or not. Fang Qi waved his hand casually. Since the system didn't set a target for the number of customers, he didn't care that much. Besides, now that he had finished the new task, he was wondering about the game cultivation room. Game cultivation room? What on earth is it? Fang Qi turned on the interface and clicked on the task reward button in a hurry. Chapter 112, Hunted Down by My Own Game Character. Soon, Fang Qi felt something cold on his chest. After looking down, he saw a mouse-shaped metal pendant hanging around his neck on a thin silver thread. The metal pendant's front side looked like a mini mouse and the back side was covered with complicated patterns. Here was the description from the system. Key to the game cultivation room. Function, connect to the game cultivation room. Instruction, please use it when no one is around. So many restrictions mumbling, Fang Qi returned to upstairs and closed the door. He sat cross-legged on his bed and turned on the system interface. Then, he clicked yes on the option of use the key to the game cultivation room. Instantly, Fang Qi felt like the lights around him dimmed. The scene before him blurred as if many strands of data flowed around him. He felt as if his entire body floated in the air, and the old world disappeared. He felt like the streaks of data took him to a strange place. When his feet touched solid ground again, he found himself in a pitch black space without any source of light. While he was wondering where he was, Light beams appeared before him and illuminated several familiar figures. They looked vivid but stood there like statues. With a crew cut and a brawny body, the first figure held a rocket launcher in his hands. He was the Special Forces soldier, Chris. The second figure wore heavy armor and had a shield in his left hand and a scepter in his right hand. He was a paladin. The third figure wore a blue and white Taoist robe and carried a long sword behind his back. Looking forward with intense eyes, he was Li Xiao. These are Fang Qi stared at them in astonishment. Glaring at the ancient looking sword with the black sheath and golden patterns, he remembered clearly that it was the Wakan sword that he had used to battle Bayou in the Legend of Sword and Fairy. He also remembered using the golden shield named Ancient's Pledge in the Paladin's hand to fight monsters. As for Chris, Fang Qi remembered that he had left the rocket launcher in Chris's hand after he practiced it on the tyrant and exited the game. Your game characters, the system said. Isn't this a cultivation room? Fang Qi asked immediately, why did you bring out my game characters? Then, Fang Qi saw a line of description under the game cultivation room on the system interface. Instruction, activate your game character and begin cultivation. The more you're in sync with them, the more experience you will get. All senses in the cultivation room such as pain are in the grade of real and can't be adjusted. The flow of time in the cultivation room is 365 to 1 compared with the real world. The cultivation room is mainly used to increase combat abilities and nothing else. One must think carefully before using it. 365 to 1? Fang Qi said in surprise. Does it mean that one year of cultivation here is equivalent to one day in the outside world? It sounded lofty, but the cultivators in the outside world cultivate for dozens and even hundreds of years at a time. What's the use of only one year? Don't make a judgment before you try, the system replied. Try it Fanky looked at his three game characters curiously. Among them, Li Xiao had the highest strength. Knowing that he could acquire skills, experiences, and cultivation strength, Fang Qi activated his game character Li Xiao since he was now into the sword techniques of the Shu Mountain faction. The moment that Fang Qi activated the character, a whole world spread under Li Xiang's feet and swallowed the darkness around them. The scene rechanged into the ancient world in the legend of the sword and fairy. Li Xiao was the only game character facing him. Expressionlessly, Li Xiao pointed the fingers of his right hand to the sky. The sky, 
the earth, mountains, lake, trees. All the spiritual essence around them gathered together and formed a horrifyingly huge spiritual essence sword. Heavenly sword. It was the heavenly sword that Fang Qi had mastered with proficiency. As soon as Li Xiao waved his finger, the huge spiritual essence sword crashed down like a giant mountain. Before the sword came, the sword energies emitting from it cut into Fang Qi's body like a blade. In the blink of an eye, it left many scratches on his body. Having practiced the heavenly sword from the basic level to mastery, Fang Qi knew the great power of the heavenly sword more than anyone else. If he allowed the huge sword to crash down, his body would be torn into pieces by the sword energies alone before the sword cut into him. Despite the fact that his body had been strengthened by the T-Virus. Stop, stop, stop. Fang Qi cried out immediately. In fact, Fang Qi didn't expect the sword to stop. Since he was in the game cultivation room, he assumed that he could be resurrected. However, to his surprise, the sword paused in the air, and the system interface began calculation at the same time. Cultivation, Li Ziao, Heavenly Sword. Synchronization, Heavenly Sword 0%. Total synchronization, 0%. Skill experiences gained characters cultivation strength gained, 0. Assessment. You're not here to cultivate. Fang Qi heaved a sigh of relief and felt exasperated while he looked at the system interface. How can I battle the heavenly sword right away? Can't you give me something like an ordinary sword control technique? Please make your own choice. Make my own choice? How? Fang Qi looked carefully and found options at the top of the game cultivation room. He clicked into the page and saw a more detailed breakdown beneath each character. For example, here was the description under Chris. Total synchronization, 62.11%. Guns, 75.3%. Combat, 70.66%. Cold weapons, 62.54%. Characters weapon owned, unlimited rocket launcher. Complete synchronization available, yes. Complete synchronization? Fang Qi asked, what does it mean? Quickly, an explanation appeared. Explanation. The player can temporarily possess all the techniques and power of this character. The synchronization time limit is determined by the synchronization rate and the player's own strength. The threshold of complete synchronization is to clear stages in the game, reach 20% total synchronization rate, and possess the important item of this character. In other words, by cultivating in this room, I can quickly increase my strength and also temporarily gain all the character's strengths. However Fang Qi glanced at his total synchronization with Li Xiao. It was only 7%. He pondered and asked, It sounds good, but where can I get an important item such as Li Xiao's Wakan sword? The system answered, Host, please do more tasks. Fang Qi said, you are tricking me to do more work. It seemed like he had to work harder on cultivation. He clicked on Li Xiao in the system interface and selected to cultivate the sword control technique. Soon, a simple looking steel sword hovered in the air beside Fang Qi's right hand, and another sword appeared by Li Xiao's right hand. They stood facing each other. Without an expression, Li Xiao waved his finger, and his sword slashed toward Fang Qi's chest with sharp whistling noise like a shooting star. FCK. Fang Qi cussed silently. With no time to think, he jumped to one side and felt a burning pain on his back. Disregarding the wound on his back, he dodged the sword that was turning blurry due to its high speed and dancing like silver snakes. Obviously, Li Xiao was much more powerful when he was moving on his own rather than under Fang Qi's control. While dodging the attacks desperately, Fang Qi controlled the long sword beside him to block the next attack from his opponent. It was a merciless battle. Fang Qi had regretted leveling up Li Xiao so well. Chapter 113, Another Mix-Up While Fang Qi was cultivating in the game Cultivation Room, the huge Lingyan Square which was paved with white stones inside Lingyan Academy was full of people. Except the ones who had gone out to experience the world, all the disciples from the Heaven, Earth, Zhuan, and Hong houses were gathered here. Why are we here? Thousands of disciples gathered on the big square of Lingyan Academy. The Academy rarely held disciple gatherings of this scale, which was why many disciples were puzzled by this unusual meeting. Why did they gather all of us here? Did anything unusual happen in the Academy? It's said that the meeting is held upon Elder Kin's request. I wonder what happened that even he was alerted. The daily operation of the houses was usually managed by the senior instructors, which was why people were surprised that the lofty director decided to talk to them in person. At this moment in Class A of House Huang, Song Qingfeng, Lin Shao, 
and Zhu Luo were looking at Mu Hongzhu and a middle-aged male instructor beside her with dejection, begging, instructor, isn't the punishment a bit too severe? The male instructor's name was Chen Zhang, and he managed the entire class A hearing Song Qingfeng and the other's complaints, he shook his head helplessly and said, you're unfortunate that you were caught in the moment of Elder Kin's fury. What were you thinking when you skipped the class to play games? It's your bad luck that you are now being punished to warn others. Mu Hongzu also sighed slightly, feeling like the punishment was a bit severe. She wondered who had come up with the idea of dragging the elite disciples of her class up to the platform and scolding them in front of thousands of people as a way of deterring others. I'll try to communicate with Elder Kin and see if I can reduce the punishment. That's all that I can do, Mu Hongzu said with a faint sigh, thinking that the method of forbidding all the disciples from entering that small shop was vicious and effective. However, she thought that it was a bit too much to reprimand the disciples in front of thousands of others. Nailin Mingju gave the three victims a condolent look since she had only gotten some deduction in credits. Meanwhile, a fatty who was standing in the back of the class wiped cold sweat from his forehead and thought, I was lucky that I didn't have class that day. If it were me who got into this kind of trouble, I probably would have been expelled from Lingyan Academy. I wonder what will happen to Ki's small shop after this. Can he keep the business open? Wang Tai looked at the gloomy sky and heaved a heavy sigh. Meanwhile, Fang Ki was being hunted down by his game character. In a jade-like green bamboo forest, a young man who was about 16 years old stepped on a stalk of bamboo lightly like a bird and flew into the distance when the bamboo bounced back. As soon as he jumped away, a silver light followed him closely and turned the stalk of bamboo into pieces. About one month had passed in the game cultivation room. That silver light followed Fang Ki like a shadow and got close to his back. Then, a silver sword energy flashed behind him and blocked the chilly light which was chasing Fang Ki like a ghost. The sword energies knocked against each other several times in the blink of an eye with clanking noises resonating in the area. Then, everything turned quiet. Cultivation, Li Ziao. Sword Control Technique Synchronization Sword Control Technique 50% Total Synchronization 10% Skill Experience Gained Slash Characters Cultivation Strength Gained 1320 Slash 280 Assessment Your Sword Control Technique has improved Work Harder And you might master the Sword Technique Who after coming out from the Respawn Station Fang Qi still looked scared He had found that Li Ziao was able to unleash double the power of the sword control technique Even if Fang Qi had the same proficiency, he couldn't win Let alone the fact that his understanding of the sword control technique in the real world was really low At this moment, Fang Qi suddenly heard a sharp whistling noise coming through the air and saw a bolt of sword energy flying toward him Surprised Fang Qi subconsciously blocked the sword energy with the sword control technique and began to run Meanwhile. Jiang Ziyu sat behind the counter in boredom. She murmured with a pout, The business today is so slow. And the owner isn't live streaming. I'm bored. Where's everyone anyway? When Su Tianji came in with Fenghua, Yuexin, and Zhao Yulv, she was also curious. What's wrong today? Where's everyone? Since the Luyin Daoist Palace was far from Zhuhui City, and she stayed away from worldly business, it was natural that she knew nothing about the situation. No idea. It's quite strange today. Lowly Jiang Ziyu said listlessly, forget it, I don't care. She glanced around, the owner is out as well, he's upstairs, and I don't know what he's doing, Jiang Ziyu answered with a pout, he isn't live streaming today. Su Tianji thought for a while and said, then, I'll play the Legend of Sword and Fairy for a while. Ziyu, get us three containers of Hagen Das. Okay. Hearing the only customers today asking for Hagen Das as usual. Jiang Ziyu felt a bit better. However, she felt gloomy again and stared at the Hagen Das sulkily. When can I have a taste of Hagen Das? Besides Lingyan Academy, other places in Zhuhui City also begin to boycott the Origin Internet Club and the games. In this world, the main promotional method was through giving out flyers, and many shops in the busy locations in Zhuhui City, such as the Tianfu Street and Zhuhui Road, sent workers out to give flyers to passing by cultivators and warriors. Chen Jialin, who called himself Young Master Chen, was a distant relative of the Chen family in Jingxi. Since the Chen family in Zhuhui City had several high level cultivators, it was quite powerful in the southern part of Zhuhui City, which made Chen Jialin a big bully. Everyone called him Bully Chen. Recently, Young Master Chen got tired of the southern side of the city and would occasionally come to the busiest Tianfu street for fun. Today, 
A worker standing before a luxurious-looking shop handed him a flyer. What's this? If he was in the southern side of the city, he wouldn't spare a glance at it. However, he looked up at the lofty-looking shop and accepted the flyer. He was bored anyway. He glanced at it and froze. The games in this shop are so fun that people get addicted to them. Right. The worker in green explained solemnly, The stuff in this shop is very vicious. Young master, please read this part. He pointed at the most eye-catching paragraphs. August 5th, in the southwest region of Zhuhui City, Zhu Changi, who was a free warrior wanted to get money for playing games, so he robbed an old man from Yang family. He was imprisoned by Zhuhui City for robbery. August 3rd, in the southern Zhuhui City, the worker in green read the stories one by one and then said to the astonished Chen Jialing smugly, these games are addictive drugs that can make people lose their mind. Right now, all the big forces including Lingyan Academy and Southern Business Alliance are boycotting the shop. All the people in Zhuhui City are avoiding these things as if they are poisonous snakes. I warn you. Don't ever touch them. Hiss. There's such a shop in the city? Young Master Chen asked in a grave voice, Where is this shop? It's in the east of the city, the servant in green said, But if you want to destroy the shop and beat those villains, you must be careful. That shop has a powerful background. Destroy the shop? Young Master Chen looked at him in bafflement and then waved his hand. Little Wu. Yes, young master. The brawny man standing behind him answered with respect. Get a carriage, and we are going to the east of the city. Get a carriage? The brawny man whose nickname was Little Wu asked in bafflement, Are we going and destroying the shop? Not at all. Young Master Chen grinned with bright eyes. This place sounds exciting. Let's go and see if it's really so fun. Still clutching the flyer, the worker in green was stunned. Seriously? Chapter 114, National Examination. The elite disciples from Class A of House Huang are addicted to games? When the meeting was over, all the disciples who gathered at Lingyan Square burst into heated discussions. Didn't you hear that those aren't just games? They were tricked by the promise of gaining strength through playing. Someone tried to argue for the punished disciples. However, this voice was quickly overpowered by a lot of sarcastic words. Nonsense. If they want to improve their strength, why didn't they go to Lingyan Martial Arts Tower? Don't tell me that these disciples from Class A don't have enough credits. Some young disciples shouted indignantly, it was their excuse so that they could go enjoy the entertainment. They are lucky that they've just entered the academy. If they continue like this until next year, they probably would have been kicked out of the school. Hearing the gossip from the crowds, Song King Feng felt his veins bulging on his forehead. He clenched his fists and gathered the warrior key in the center of his hands. If someone noticed it, they would have realized that he was in the late stage of the official warrior realm. Despite the relatively fast advancement process in the official warrior realm, ordinary warriors had to spend years on training to achieve it. Even for someone with Song King Feng's talent and resources, they wouldn't be able to reach this level until half a year later. Young Master Song, what shall we do now? Lin Xiao asked uneasily. How should I know? Song King Feng answered angrily. They had been in the top tier of Klasa, but now they became the laughing stock of everyone in the academy. Even the instructors looked at them with anger in their eyes. It didn't feel good. Azulu put his arms around his head and said painfully, Will they really kick us to the classes for Wastrels next year? I don't think so. Song King Feng inhaled deeply, feeling depressed while thousands of pairs of eyes stared at them with scorn and contempt. Then, are we going to the internet cafe today or not? Lin Xiao asked again. Are you stupid? Didn't you hear that the instructors would watch us closely? After a moment of consideration, Song King Feng said, I'll take a break first. On the other side, Lan Yan looked at the furious Song King Feng and others who were walking away and said in a wary tone, Ms. Nailin. The situation looks bad, I know. Nailin Mingju looked calm. The situation is getting out of control. How about Lanyan said with some hesitation, shall we report the truth to the management of the academy? No. Nailin Mingju shook her head. Who would believe us if we tell them that the games in a small shop can improve our strength better than the Lingyan Martial Arts Tower? Even if Qin Bing and most of the people believe us Nailin Mingju turned her bright eyes toward Lanyan and asked, the status of the Lingyan Martial Arts Tower would be in danger. Do you think Qin Bing will allow such a thing to happen? Lan Yan was at a loss for words, knowing that the whole thing concerned the foundation of Lingyan Academy. Then, what should we do now? Lan Yan asked, can we ask help from that mysterious senior in Mr. Fang's shop? Nailin Mingju said, 
that Senior is indeed deep and mysterious, but he is obviously restrained by something. Otherwise, he wouldn't have to spend so much effort on training Mr. Fang. He even harmed his own realm to inject essence into Mr. Fang's body. This was her explanation for Fang Qi's fast improvement of strength. She was smart enough to doubt certain things, but she wasn't someone to resort to illegal actions. As meticulous as she was, she never liked to touch totally unknown stuff or do things that she wasn't sure of. Besides, the situation now isn't as the same as hundreds of years ago. Hundreds of years ago, the powerful warriors and grand cultivators could do whatever they wanted, including slaughtering a whole city. However, if they tried doing such things at this era, they would be put into the underground cells in the heavenly prison of Jingxi. Hundreds of years had passed since that ancient family used powerful strength to suppress the chaotic society into a peaceful world. In today's society, even the powerful figures didn't dare to use their strength however they wanted. Then, we'll sit back and wait for whatever comes our way? Lanyan asked in bafflement, it's not your style, Ms. Nalan. The situation is indeed tricky. Nalan Mingju furrowed her pretty slim eyebrows as she took out two black cloaks that she had prepared and handed one to Lan Yan. We'll change into these later. Why? Nalan Mingju said as if it were obvious, so we can go to the internet cafe. Oh, don't we need to find a solution? We will find a solution. What? Meanwhile, in the instructor's office, Mu Hongtsu asked in astonishment, the Lingyan list will be combined into the joint list of three major academies in Dajing, and there will be a national examination across Dajing. We must strengthen the training of the elite disciples. To show everyone the strength of Lingyan Academy, Director Kin is behind the push of this national examination. Everyone who is on the Lingyan list can enter the national examination. This national examination will be supervised by the high-level representatives from all the academies in the game cultivation room. Sword energies and metal colliding noises rang out from the bamboo forest. One of the swords moved with a light and magical rhythm, looking like a dragon. The other sword struggled to block the attacks in an orderly manner and it was holding up. Neither of them gained the upper hand. After 100 rounds, Fang Qi could no longer block the attacks and thus withdrew his sword. Cultivation, Li Ziao, Sword Control Technique, Synchronization Sword Control Technique 70%, Total Synchronization, 12.890%, Skill Experience Gained Characters Cultivation Strength Gained, 2756-486, Assessment, you are proficient at the sword technique. Fang Qi exhaled deeply at this information. He had realized that the more advanced he got with the sword control technique, the more difficult it became to improve. It wasn't easy to move from the proficient level to the master level even with the help of the game cultivation room. Now that he had passed the threshold and was able to cultivate the innumerable sword scroll, he decided to master it first so that he would have a powerful sword technique with him. More than two months had passed in the game cultivation room. Fang Qi quickly selected the cultivation of innumerable sword scroll on the system interface. Standing across from him, Li Ziao waved his hand and summoned back the steel sword. The sword stood before him and then shot up into the sky. In the sky, the sword split into two, then two into four and four into eight. The pattern repeated until the sky was filled with dense sword energies like a cloud of swords. F.C.K. Fang Qi cussed silently and ran. His butt was about to be kicked again. Chapter 115 Don't fire. Hey Haya, aren't you the idiots who skipped class to play games and were scolded by Director King personally? When Song King Fang walked around the academy, a round-faced young man pointed at them with contempt. They will be kicked into the class of Australs. No way. No class in our academy will accept such scum. Song King Feng's face turned dark. He had become notorious in the academy since everyone from the instructors to the disciples in every house knew about him. What did you say? Enraged, Lin Xiao wanted to dash over to them but was stopped by someone. What? You want to mess with us? Seeing others look their way, Lu Shiji got more blatant in his taunting. Little kids from the Hong house, they were disciples of the Zhuan house, where the threshold of entrance was the master warrior realm. After just being punished by the academy, Song King Feng and the other shouldn't cause trouble. Also, even if they did, they were no match for their opponents. Lin Xiao turned his head and saw that Song King Feng was pulling him back. The latter roared in a deep voice, let's go. Huh, I thought you had some balls. But I was wrong. The three guys were furious while they walked away. Young Master Song, we'll just forget the whole thing. When Song King Feng stopped walking, 
Zulu asked the question that was on his mind. They were counting on us to rush over. Didn't you see that? Song King Feng said with a dark expression, Do you think a warrior can defeat a master warrior? Zulu was silent. Even if they could defeat those guys, they would get themselves into more trouble at this moment right after their punishment. Despite his fury, Song King Feng didn't lose his mind. What should we do now? Lin Shao asked, We'll just forget the whole thing. We must work harder. Song King Feng said through gritted teeth, We must reach the Master Warrior Realm as soon as possible. Work harder. The other two's faces twitched while they looked at Song King Feng. How? Work in the Internet Cafe and charge at the Master Warrior Realm. Although their strength had grown, it was not enough. After all, the time since they started cultivating was not long. It was the only way for them to improve their strength faster than others. No other method was as good as this one. Zulu froze for a moment before saying, Young Master Song, can we still go to the Internet Cafe? Old Ghost Kin must have station spies there. They stated that they are prohibiting all the disciples from playing games. Now, Director Kin had become Old Ghost Kin in their minds. I'm afraid that we'll be kicked out of the school before we can improve our strength if we are caught. Zhu Xiao said, You're really brave. Soon, they had walked to the gate of the academy. Zulu looked up and saw two familiar figures slipping out. Ugh, how come those two look so familiar? Why are they wearing cloaks while leaving the academy? They're acting so sneakily. Cloaks? Song King Feng furrowed his eyebrows while he looked at those two figures. I have an idea. Damn it. I should have asked him for the address. With several servants walking behind him, Chen Jialin cussed while he glanced at the shops on the street. How can I F King find this place? Suddenly, young Master Chen saw a team of patrolling city guards marching over. Little Wu, go and ask them. I must find this place today. He kicked the butt of the man named Little Wu and the latter trotted to the city guards and asked, Would you please tell me where the Origin Internet Club is? Walk down the street to the end and turn left. The captain glanced at him and said, But I warn you not to make trouble, otherwise you'll be punished. Okay, okay, we'll not make trouble. Little Wu nodded enthusiastically. The city guards loud reply reached young Master Chen behind them, and he mumbled, This small shop has some background then. Let's go and have a look. Soon. He came to the shop and saw the extraordinary glass walls which looked quite fancy among the surrounding white walls and black tiles. Are the walls pure glass? Aren't they afraid that the walls might get damaged by someone? Curiously, young Master Chen knocked on the glass door and so did his servants, making clanking sounds. Watch, be careful. Young Master Chen yelled immediately, Don't you dare break this door. Yes, yes, yes. The servants pulled back their hands in a hurry. The glass was not only fragile but very expensive. As servants, they couldn't afford to break this big glass door which was quite pricey. Seeing his servants moving their hands, young Master Chen pushed open the door carefully and looked inside. The decoration was totally different from the styles of this world. The simple and grand looking counter and the rows of unknown square shaped spiritual artifacts on the black stone desks that were as smooth as mirrors made him feel like he had entered another world. Hiss. This shop is interesting. He beckoned at his servants and said with joy, come in. All of you come in. After his servants came in, he glanced back and saw several figures behind them. Two petite figures glanced around outside the door. Ms. Nalan, no one is watching. Okay, let's go in. Then, two figures who were wrapped tightly in black cloaks slipped in quietly. What the FK? Chen Jialing was stroking his chin in bafflement when several other figures walked toward the door from outside. These figures walked so stiffly that they looked like zombies and their rotten faces scared Chen Jialing. What the FK are these things? The zombie that was walking in the front of the group pushed open the door, and the figures following him slipped into the shop with greater agility than monkeys, startling Chen Jialing. Ha 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 I told you that we would be fine to dress up as zombies. The three zombies laughed, and then one of them pulled his mask off and revealed his handsome face. They are just masks Chen Jialing relaxed with relief. At this moment, another zombie said, I've made a detailed study plan. We can play the Legend of the Sword and Fairy three hours each day. Through practicing the sword control technique, we can master it sooner. Then, we'll play two hours of Counter-Strike which will help with our concentration, and it will benefit our cultivation. For the last hour we'll play Diablo. Follow my plan, and we'll surely reach the Master Warrior Realm. You're talking about playing games, right? Even I can see that. Chen Jialing got more confused. And you call that a study plan? Meanwhile. 
Two instructors from Lingyan Academy who had been watching the shop were confused. They looked at each other, wondering, what were those things that just entered at the counter? Wow, your cloaks even have ears. So cute. Looking at the black triangle-shaped furry ears on the hoods of the black cloaks, stars appeared in Jiang Ziyu's big eyes. Ms. Nalan bought them. Lan Yan's pretty face blushed. They are the newest cloaks from Xi'an Pavilion, and they can cover one's aura, Nalan Mingju said earnestly. The old style doesn't look as good. Lan Yan, can I touch the ears? Jiang Ziyu reached out her hand expectantly. Ugh embarrassed, Lan Yan considered her request. Before she could open her mouth, Jiang Ziyu shrieked and almost fell from her chair when she saw the rotten faces appearing behind Lan Yan. Fang Qi who had just come down from upstairs dug out his weapon at the sight without thinking. Sir, don't fire, it is us. Seeing Fang Qi digging out the rocket launcher, Song King Feng and his buddies jumped up with fright and yelled immediately. Fang Qi, Jiang Ziyu, Lan Yan, Nailin Mingju. Chapter 116, Guilty. Hey, what are you doing? Fang Qi's face twitched. Wondering why they came to the internet cafe dressed as zombies. And you as well. He looked Nalan Mingju and Lan Yan over as well. Jiang Ziyu heaved a sigh of relief when she saw that they were not real zombies. And she glared at them. Take off your masks. You'll scare the other customers. On the side, young Master Chen gave her a thumbs up with tears on his face. This lowly knows me. The academy forbids you from playing in my shop? Fangki rolled his eyes. Owner, how come you're not surprised? Jiang Ziyu looked at Fang Qi curiously. Fang Qi glanced at the hot sun outside and mumbled, It's just one of the rules from schools that forbid students from entering the internet cafes and swimming in the rivers on their way from school. It's nothing surprising. TL note, this is quite common in China where students are forbidden from playing games at all. Sir, what did you say? The others looked at him, confused. Nothing. Fang Qi said while touching his nose. It's why you sneaked into my shop? Of course. We put a lot of thought into how to get into the shop without being caught. Lin Xiao said with a laugh. I bet there are spies outside of the door. Okay, we'll go and play games. Seeing the guys paying and walking to their computers, Jiang Ziyu looked touched. Owner, your customers are so loyal. They came to support your business at such great risks. Fang Qi's face twitched while he said awkwardly. There are players who go to the internet cafe at greater risks. Greater risks? Leaning her head to one side, Jiang Ziyu stared at Fang Qi and murmured doubtfully, I've seen no one like that. You have seen one of them. Fang Qi sat down before a computer. Looking at the young guys and girls with youthful passion on their faces, he remembered his old life where he went from a young game addict to a professional gamer and the contemptuous looks people cast at him during the process. He remembered his old battlefields and teammates. Subconsciously, he shook his head and smiled self-mockingly, I'm an old retiree, and it's no use to bury myself in memories. Meanwhile, Zhao Yulv who stood behind Su Tianji watching her play saw Song King Feng and the others with masks in their hands. He rolled his eyes and thought, so that's after some consideration, an idea dawned on him, and his eyes lit up. On the other side, young Master Chen finally got his wish of playing the despicable games. According to his request, Fangki recommended Counter-Strike and Diablo to him since both could be played in teams. This guy activated both games at the same time and activated Counter-Strike for each of his servants while he was doing it. After all, it was easy to spend money that wasn't his. While touching the almost empty pocket, Young Master Chen thought, tomorrow, I'll ask Dad for more money. Hey Haya, this is fun. On the screen, he fired repeatedly while his servants fled desperately. Zhao Wu, hurry up and call over Young Master Yang and Young Master Yu. Chen Jialun yelled between his wild laughs. Dada da da da. Diablo 2 wasn't the most popular game in the internet cafe right now not because it wasn't fun but because the sword control technique was more appealing to cultivators and warriors. While some of them began to master the sword control technique, some old players returned to Diablo, and among them were Nailin Hongwu, Elder Fu, Song King Feng, and his buddies. Compared with the legend of the sword and fairy, the monsters in Diablo that were lurking in the darkness to launch sneak attacks gave the players the thrill of adventures. Each of the games in Fang Qi's shop maintained the feel of the original versions, including the combination of skills in the Diablo and the spiritual spells and sword techniques in the Legend of the Sword and Fairy that were more powerful than the player's own martial arts techniques and spiritual spells. Besides, 
The buffs in the game and proper arrangement made those techniques more powerful than those in the real world. For example, when Fang Qi played the Paladin, all he had to do was to use the skill, Holy Shield, drink potions, and use Blessed Hammer to kill all the monsters. He didn't need to do anything. Therefore, when players fought the monsters and the boss, they could handle most of the situations as long as they could use the skills with proficiency. This way, the players with lower strength in the real world, such as Song King Feng and his buddies, could still play the game even when they encountered high-level bosses. However, it didn't mean that the player's own techniques were useless. For example, when Nail and Hong played Diablo with Elder Fu, they had consciously combined their own combat techniques and skills into the game, so they could kill monsters faster and handle special situations. This was another reason why Song King Feng and others decided to spend one hour on Diablo on top of leveling up faster. They treated the games purely as games before, but they were getting more serious now. Young Master Lin. Let's see if we can master these basic techniques. Don't we have the sword control technique to learn? I barely have time for one. Lin Xiao immediately complained. Then, we focus on one. In the real world, we can use the techniques and spells that we don't master. Six hours later, it was dark outside. Song King Feng and his buddies put their masks back on and got ready to leave the internet cafe. Lin Xiao opened the door and glanced outside stealthily. It looks fine, Lin Xiao said in a low voice. Go, 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 hurry up. Song King Feng waved his hand and they ran out from the door before walking across the street with fake calmness. In a dark corner outside Fanky's shop, two men smiled faintly when they saw a few weirdly dressed young men walking out of the internet cafe. Director Kin had promised them large sums of rewards if they caught disciples who entered the shop. These sneaky guys are very likely disciples from the academy. Their strange outfits are obviously disguises. Let's follow them. Bad news. Young Master Song, I feel like we are being followed. Lin Xiao suddenly sensed something, and he whispered to the other two. Having engaged in highly intense battles in the games, they were more sensitive to danger. Hail a good beast carriage, and they won't be able to catch up. Song King Feng whispered back. My god, they are really instructors from the academy. They are chasing after us. Lin Xiao looked back and saw two black figures following them, and he shrieked with fear. My god, danger, beat it. Scared. They ran like my seeing a cat. Run, run. They were caught the moment that they left the shop. They look guilty. Hurry up and get them. The middle-aged male instructor was elated that he had finally found some potential troublemaking students after hiding in this damn place for the whole day. Meanwhile, Nailin Mingju and Lan Yan walked out of the internet cafe calmly as if nothing had happened. The other male instructor glanced at the shop entrance and saw them. Two more came out. Ms. Nailin, are you sure that we'll be fine? Lan Yan shivered and almost exposed themselves. I'm sure. Nailin Mingju continued walking. The middle-aged male instructor looked back and saw these two people walking out casually. They don't look guilty. We will chase the ones before us. I'm sure they are our targets. Don't let them get away. Chapter 117 This internet cafe is your strongest support. With their cultivation strengths, Song King Feng and his buddies couldn't outrun the two instructors from the academy. Split up. An idea dawned on Song King Feng, and he immediately turned into a side alley. Right. Split up. Lin Xiao immediately turned into another alley. Zuluo suddenly found that he was alone, and then he looked back. FCK. He continued running. They split up. What should we do? The younger and taller instructor asked. This young instructor was obviously inexperienced. Each of us can chase after one. Seal their warrior key when we catch him. The shorter. Middle-aged instructor looked dignified and experienced. We'll search for the last one later. Good plan, Instructor Zhu. Hurriedly, the taller instructor chose one alley and sped after the fleeing disciple. Zhu Kebai had been an instructor in Lingyan Academy for some years and had trained many elite disciples, but he was still not a high-level instructor yet. He took this task that Director Kin assigned to them as an opportunity of promotion if he could catch some disciples who came into the small shop to play games. With his thought, he continued the chase. M. Quickly, Zukebai saw Zuluo running into a side lane swiftly. He kicked the ground with his right foot and leaped up into the air before landing steadily on the top of a house with his hands clasped behind his back. Soon, he saw a figure running in the darkness from the corner of his eyes. Meanwhile, Lin Xiao was blocked by a burly instructor. How come he's so fast? Lin Xiao got ready to fight almost subconsciously. You want to resist? 
The burly instructor sneered as he bent his knees and pushed out his right hand with a shout. Almost simultaneously, Lin Xiao felt a huge force crashing toward him like an essence wall. Combat technique? Air vibration? Lin Xiao's heart sank as his hope of escaping vanished. I'm finished. Before he could move, he was sent flying by this huge force. Feeling all of his internal organs squeezing against each other, Lin Xiao flew up into the air. When he landed on the ground, he lost all sensations in his body. This combat technique released a powerful force with warrior ki which could shake the opponent's bones and internal organs. It was hard to block for a lower level warrior. It was no surprise that Lin Xiao was suppressed by one attack. Meanwhile, Zuluo was caught in Zukebai's hand like a small chick as his warrior ki was sealed. Zukebai sneered as he looked at Zuluo in his hand. The academy has repeatedly ordered the disciples not to enter this small shop. But you still went there. Zulu felt cold and thought, how come I'm so damn unlucky? There's one more. The darkness of the night deepened. Feeling tired after playing, Fang Qi opened the door and inhaled the fresh air outside while stretching. At this moment, Fang Qi saw a figure racing toward him while yelling and patting. Sir, sir, help me. Fang Qi's face twitched. Why are you back? Instruct. Instruct Song King Fang pointed behind him. Forget it. Let me in. Song King Fang raced into the shop. Since he couldn't outrun that instructor, the shop was the safest place for him. After all, no one could make trouble in the shop. In the moonlight, Fang Qi saw a figure flying down with his arms spread like a huge eagle. He was a short, middle-aged man who clutched another guy in his hand. Seeing Fang Qi, he narrowed his eyes and observed the ordinary-looking young man who was standing at the door. Little guy, I remember that you're the owner of this shop, right? At this moment, the burly instructor also jumped down from the roof. I got this one. I'll see who else dares to enter this shop again. Zukebai nodded and reached out his hand. Hand over the student who ran into your shop. It's the private business of our Lingyan Academy, so please don't intervene. Although he used the word please. His tone oozed with threatening vibes. Fangki was amused. You're stopping people from coming to my business and still want me to cooperate? I know that you have a master inside your shop, Zukebai said with a sneer. But you can mess with our Lingyan Academy as well. I won't go into your shop and make trouble, but I'll wait outside. We'll check in the Academy tomorrow morning to find out who is absent, and we'll know who is inside your shop now. Fangki's face twitched when he felt the academy instructor's persistence. It was one thing for the academy to create new rules, but it was another thing when they tried to order him around in front of his shop. Do they really think that I'm made of clay? At this moment, Fangki's eyelids twitched and saw a task appearing in the system interface. New task, play safely and peacefully at the Internet Cafe 2. Task description. Defeat the instructors from Lingyan Academy who are blocking the door and rescue the customers from them. Task Reward One random treasure box. Task Instruction When you are blocked by instructors, remember that this internet cafe will provide you with the strongest support. Ugh, there's even a task for it. Fangki looked surprised. How about having a friendly battle with me in my shop? Fangki smiled politely and said, If you win, you can capture anyone you want. But if you lose, you have to give them to me. After saying that, he pointed at Zhu Luo and Lin Zhao who were captured already. Zhu Kebai froze for a moment and then smirked. Enter your shop? What trick are you playing? Do you take me as a moron? We can battle here outside. The burly instructor grinned. If you win, they are yours. We can battle here outside. Fang Qi shrugged. You can't use the weapon that can spit out fire. Zhu Kebai immediately added since he had done some investigation before he came and knew that even ancestral warriors found that mysterious weapon a headache. Sir, you can agree to that. Song King Feng immediately opened the door and yelled, No? Zhu Kebai said with a smirk, Little Li, take these two back to the academy. They will be severely punished for breaking the rules purposefully. They probably will be kicked out of the academy. Fang Qi stopped him immediately and said, Fine, I will not use the rocket launcher. Well Zukebai stroked his chin. They are your friends? It seems that you care about these two kids. Lin Xiao and Zhu Luo had tears on their faces. The shop owner is so kind. Yeah, the owner is a loyal friend. Jiang Ziyu who watched the scene from behind was also touched. I thought he was black hearted, but he's a reliable friend when needed. Fang Qi's face twitched, thinking that he was just doing a task. Sir, you can agree to that. Seeing Fang Qi agreeing to battle with them without the rocket launcher, Zhu Luo said anxiously, The strength of the instructors at Lingyan Academy is greater than ordinary warriors. Although Mr. Fang seems to have great strength, it mainly comes from the rocket launcher. Do you want me to allow these two guys to catch whoever they want in front of my shop? 
Fangki glanced at them and then walked to the center of the street. Who will fight me first? Song King Feng and his buddies felt dead inside. We're finished. The shop owner agreed to fight them like this. Chapter 118 Broadcast it on live stream. Wow, I've never watched the shop owner in a real fight. Yi Zie who loved watching drama came over immediately. The players who were still playing at the internet cafe were mostly people living outside of the city such as the Cloud Ocean Faction disciples Yan Le Yan, Bai Lang, and Zan Yan. Zhu Zixin and Shen King King didn't show up here lately. Out of all current players, only Liang Shi and his buddies were residents of the city. He is a Grand Master Warrior, right? Liang Shi looked at the big instructor who came over to battle Fang Qi. Can the shop owner win without the rocket launcher? Sir, you can do it. Yi Zie waved her small fists and shouted since she couldn't see whose strength was greater with her current cultivation strength. After shouting, she saw the people around her all looking at her weirdly. Ugh, senior brothers, why are you staring at me? Yi Zie was puzzled. It's obvious that the shop owner's cultivation strength is weaker than his opponent's. Yun Le Yuan said, Junior sister, can't you see that? At this moment, Fang Yi took out an exquisitely made black sword from a sheath and held it in his hand. Sword? Not only Li Yang, the burly instructor facing Fang Yi, but the surrounding people all froze as well. I bought it while I went shopping. I can finally put it into use now. Fang Yi waved the long sword in his hand and looked at the burly guy in front of him, saying, After you. At this moment, Laughter burst out from the instructors. This sword looks pretty. Yi Zie looked at the sword sheath which looked like a slab of black jade and the long sword that was engraved with exquisite patterns of bamboos. The shop owner has good taste. What are they laughing about? Yun Liyan's face fell while he whispered. It's of course pretty. It is a decorative sword which one hangs on the wall. Deco Yi Zie froze. Decorative sword? Hearing these two words, Song King Feng, Lin Shao, and Zhu Luo touched their foreheads, thinking, we're finished. Don't you even know how to select a sword? Li Yang looked at Fang Qi coldly while he raised his fists that were protected by gloves that had metal scales on them. You're lucky that you have a powerful figure behind you. Otherwise, you'd be dead now. Don't waste your time on him. Get rid of him. Zhu Kebai said in a grave voice, we can finish the task sooner. Got it. Li Yang bent his knees and spread his arms staring at Fang Qi like a hungry tiger that was looking at its prey. The instructors of Lingyan Academy are indeed extraordinary. Liang Shi sighed faintly and said with concern, just their presence alone can scare opponents. Song King Feng and others were not in the mood to watch the fight. At this moment, people suddenly saw a flashing sword light appeared in front of Fang Qi. No one saw him draw the sword. It came out of the sheath by itself as if it had a spirit of its own. The moonlight reflecting on the body of the sword looked like water flowing from a spring. Combat technique. Everyone could sense the warrior key flowing through Li Yang's body in a certain pattern and gathering in his palms. He examined the distance of about six meters between them and shouted, Enough, tiger. His shout stopped suddenly when he saw a flash of silver light slash toward him viciously from the corner of his eye and a sharp ear-piercing whistling noise sounded. He wondered how his opponent's sword blade could be so long. However, he had no time to mull over it. He turned his combat technique toward the sword flash in a hurry. Boom! Two huge forces collided with each other and let out an earth-shaking loud noise. Obviously, Li Yang had greater power, and the force from his technique instantly shattered the street behind the sword. The violent force expanded outward and crashed toward the internet cafe by the side of the street. The ground in front of the shop shattered first. Young Master Chen was about to walk out of the shop, but he was so frightened that he almost dropped onto the ground on his butt when he saw the scene through the transparent glass door. However, nothing happened in the next moment and the fragile glass door of the shop was intact. The key gathered on Fang Qi's sword was obviously much weaker, but it all landed on Li Yang's body, shredding his clothes and wounding him. What's this combat technique? How can it be so powerful six meters away? To his astonishment, Li Yang saw that no one was holding the sword that was striking him. Fang Qi was standing six meters away from him. Besides him, all the customers of Internet Cafe watched in a daze as a thought dawned on them. Is it really the Fang Qi waved his finger and the long sword flew up slowly under his control. It was an ordinary long sword, but it looked alive with its silver body under his control, looking like an agile silver snake. The sword was so nimble that it seemed like it could attack from any angle. Li Yang felt like his opponent was only a sword, but he had been forced into a tight corner instantly. The sword control technique? 
the people watching the battle couldn't believe that they were seeing the sword control technique in the real world. They had experienced the great power of the sword control technique in the game, but they had never imagined that they could watch it in the real world. You mastered it? Song King Feng almost thought that his eyes were playing tricks on him, but he witnessed the silver sword cut many bloody wounds on Li Yang's waist and belly. If the latter wasn't good at dodging, these cuts would have been fatal. On the other hand, Fang Qi stood where he was and didn't move an inch. Is it really the sword control technique? Yi Zie opened her mouth subconsciously, until it was wide enough to fill an egg. The cultivators such as Bai Lang and Yan Liyan also gaped while they watched the incredible sight. Sword control technique. The sword control technique which they had been contemplating and practicing day and night showed its great power in the real world for the first time. Seeing Fang Qi beating a more powerful warrior by just waving his fingers. The people watching the battle were all shocked. With a celestial sword, I can go to the heavens and enter the netherworld. The sword control technique was indeed powerful. When did the owner become so strong? Jiang Ziyu widened her eyes at the sight, and her small face filled with astonishment. FCK, the shop owner is awesome. Lin Shao cussed subconsciously and yelled in elation. The shop owner is the best. Seeing that Fang Qi had turned the tables, Zhu Xiao immediately yelled after Lin Xiao. With tears flowing down his face, he felt exhilarated. I'm damn saved. With a celestial sword, I can go to the heavens and enter the netherworld. Song King Feng yelled in excitement. The imperial sword arrives with the wind, eliminating evil from heaven and earth. Yi Zie also shouted. Many people teared in excitement as well. The sword control technique was awe-inspiring. Fang Qi shrugged casually as if he were broadcasting on the live stream. The key to the sword control technique is speed. Among the combat techniques in the world, speed triumphs all. I don't need to exert much strength, but do you think he dares to use combat techniques against me? No. He doesn't. The shop owner is awesome. The most powerful shop owner in history. The sword control technique is amazing. If there were a live stream screen here, the bullet comments would have flooded it. Humph, you're a cultivator. Zukebai's face twitched, and his expression turned cold. He watched from a dark corner while Li Yang was put into a disadvantage. Cultivators are not so great at close range combat. After all, we can fail the mission that director can assign to us. Fine. An ordinary looking knife flashed and appeared in his hand as a chilly presence released from it. He curled his lips, saying, I never said that it wasn't one on one battle. Chapter 119, Real Battles Need Nimbleness. It's coming to an end. After battling for a long time with the decorative sword that they had scorned, Li Yang couldn't get within three meters of Fang Qi, let alone touch his clothes. Now, Li Yang was forced into a corner. To everyone's astonishment, a black shadow dashed out soundlessly from the side while a chilly knife light slashed toward Fang Qi who was controlling the sword. Sneak attack? Despicable. Shameless. How come Lingyan Academy has such a shameless instructor? Shop owner, be careful. Furious yells and cusses rose, but it was too late for any of them to help due to the suddenness of the attack. The knife slashed toward Fang Qi's belly as swift as lightning. Even if he could manage to dodge it narrowly. He would be severely wounded by this sudden and vicious attack. You're indeed just a cultivator. When the knife got close and Fang Qi showed no intention of dodging it, Zhu Kebai smirked smugly. However, a faint light lit up on Fang Qi's chest while a row of data flashed across his eyes. The knife was only a few inches from Fang Qi's body. All the people had their hearts in their throats, thinking that they would see blood gushing out the next moment. However, they witnessed an unbelievable scene in the next moment. Boom! With his knee pushing up and his elbow crashing down, the two strongest parts of human body clashed and locked down the swift and vicious knife like two huge hammers. The extremely vicious knife froze suddenly. It couldn't even be drawn back, let alone moving forward. Even the warrior key that was wrapped around the knife was shattered by this extremely vicious blow. This is close range combat skills. Song King Feng and others were stupefied. Although Fang Qi's sword control technique was very powerful, he had also previously experienced a huge buff from the T-Virus. Adding that to his strong cultivation strength, the close-range combat skills, and his complete synchronization with Chris, his strength was beyond that of an ordinary cultivator. He could handle most of the close-range combats. The combat skills from Resident Evil? 
Li Yangxi was also stupefied. Isn't that the combat skills for low-level warriors? Which high-level warrior would use these techniques? How could one parry a combat technique with a grappling technique? The shop owner blocked this attack with combat skills for low-level warriors? The crowd gasped. They looked at Fang Qi and saw no fear on his face after being attacked from behind. After all, when he practiced the sword control technique, he was always attacked before he could see the sword. If he couldn't parry this attack, his hard efforts would be wasted. Fang Qi turned his head and glanced at the stupefied crowd who claimed that the combat skills were only for low-level warriors. It seems that you misunderstood these combat skills. In fact, if you master them, you can enter the competition in the King of Fighters. Competition of the King of Fighters? Jiang Ziyu blinked. What's that? Can we use the combat skills against the high-level warriors? Li Yang Shi asked in surprise. At this moment, Zhu Kebai finally withdrew his knife from between Fang Qi's knee and elbow. After retreating several steps, he stared at Fang Qi and asked in alarm, Are you a cultivator or a warrior? No cultivator could be so strong in close range combat. He felt like he was seeing a ghost. To conceal his sneak attack, Zhu Kebai didn't choose his full force, but he hadn't expected his knife to be caught by a person who looked like a cultivator either. Glancing at the dumbfounded crowd, Fang Qi said, since you still have doubts about the combat skills, I'll show you how powerful they are. The combat skills needs nimbleness. Fang Qi made a stance. If my opponent doesn't attack, I don't attack. I faint. Faint? Zhu Kebai stared at Fang Qi coldly. Although he knew nothing about these combat skills, he understood faint. Then, I'll give him a faint attack and see what trick he's playing. Now, the crowd watched the battle with concentration, wanting to know how to use combat skills on a warrior who could release the warrior ki. Li Yang Shi even hurried over, bought a container of hog and dos, and watched the fight while he ate it. About two meters away from Fang Qi, Zhu Kebai slashed out his knife, and the energy reached Fang Qi before the knife did. Meanwhile, Fang Qi swayed slightly and easily dodged the knife energy. Then in the blink of an eye, he had moved very close to his opponent. Now, we must get close. At such a close range, there's no room for your opponent to use fancy techniques. It's impossible. Fang Qi spoke while he punched, looking as if he were taking a stroll in a courtyard. Sir, I want to learn it. With bright eyes, Song King Feng watched Fang Qi dodge his opponent's knife energy with only a slight sway. The owner knows everything. Jiang Ziyu watched with envy on her face. I want to learn it too. The shop owner can even do this? Li Yang Shi watched in amazement while he ate the hog and dos. Sir, you're so strong. I want to learn it too. Yi Zhe yelled instantly. While his face twitched, Yan Li Yan said with a whisper, Junior sister, we're cultivators. Cultivators. Oh. Zhu Kebai's face twitched non-stop. When Fang Qi got close, his fists, shoulders, head, elbows, and knees all became powerful weapons. Compared with formal combat techniques, Fang Qi's attacks looked compact and tight like a continuous storm. With only one knife in his hand, Zhu Kebai found that it was impossible to parry these attacks. He wished that he had three heads and six arms. Otherwise, it was impossible to block his opponent. The close-range combat advantage that the warriors had over the cultivators was a joke in this situation. Want to stick to me? Zhu Kebai's expression turned dark while his feet moved in a certain pattern and his warrior Qi gathered in him. Abruptly, he stomped his foot shouting, shatter step. Meanwhile, Fang Qi continued his live broadcast. When punching, we must reserve 30% of our strength. At the same time, we must watch our opponent's movements to see if there's a weakness that we can use. For example, if he moves his feet, we can focus on his hands because most of his warrior Qi will be on his feet. We must be nimble and don't collide with his force head on. While he talked, Fang Qi's left hand grabbed onto his opponent's wrist. While the shatter step took Zhu Kebai more than three meters away instantly, Fang Qi had caught the latter's wrist and moved with him. They were still one foot apart. Zhu Kebai was startled. He had tried to put distance between them, but his opponent still stood before him. More importantly, Fang Qi's feet looked as if they were rooted in the ground and showed no sign of imbalance. The moment he lands, use Kazuke's heavy punch and 127 Chiki Awubana. Looking at Zhu Kebai who had been sent flying several meters, Fang Qi brushed the dust off his hand and said, he can never block this combo. TL notes, these are your Yagami's moves from the King of Fighters. I didn't know that combat skills could be used this way. I feel like I learned a lot. Many Resident Evil players said excitedly, Kazuke's, 
Heavy Punch, and 127 Cheeky, Awu Bana Sir, you're playing in the game, you must be. Everyone was stupefied. Yeezye was elated, saying, I've decided I don't want to be a cultivator in the future. I want to learn combat skills. Standing beside her, Yun Yan's expression turned dark, thinking that her father would kill her if she did that. Sir, you're so strong. Song King Feng had thought that the combat skills they learned in Resident Evil were only for them to use when they ran out of Warrior Key, but now he found that these combat skills could be so powerful. Zukebai struggled up from the ground, and Li Yang didn't fare any better. When they got up, Fang Qi asked, Do you still want to fight? They looked at each other and said, We'll use techniques together. I don't believe that you can block our combined force. They got into position. Each of them had a cultivation strength greater than Fang Qi's, let alone their combined force. When they gathered all the warrior Qi in their bodies, the whole street turned chilly. In real world battles, being clever is important. Now, we can show our trump card. While he explained, the sword that was hovered in the air behind him split into two, then into four, then eight, until the space was filled with swords. A moment ago, one sword had unleashed unbelievable power, and now, Zukebai, Li Yang, with so many swords attacking at such a close range, they would be turned into swords before they could use their techniques. How could they combine their forces then? While shivering, their faces turned green. Run, run, run. All the people were stupefied by the sight. Chapter 120, Solving the Issue. Hu Fang Qi exhaled with satisfaction, venting most of his frustration that he had accumulated in the game cultivation room after being beaten in the battles. Now, he felt great. Of course, he didn't show it on his face. Without a word, Zukebai and Li Yang fled in desperation. After they were gone, Fang Qi withdrew the sword and turned his head, meeting the stupefied eyes of the crowd. Sir, you even mastered the innumerable sword scroll. Sir, are you still a human? Li Yang Shi and the others asked in astonishment. Just when we are trying to learn how to use the sword control technique in the real world, the shop owner has begun using the innumerable sword scroll. Bai Lang and the others inhaled deeply and stared at Fang Qi. It was the innumerable sword scroll. What was more shocking was the realization that if Fang Qi didn't go easy on his opponents and didn't care about destroying the whole street, he could have killed those two instructors with the huge sword energies. They would have nowhere to escape to in the whole world. Meanwhile, Fang Qi frowned when he saw the uneven ground and the scratches on the white walls of the street. Due to a short time of practice, his control wasn't good enough. While glancing at the cheering young men and young women, he thought that it was enough for now. Then, Jiang Ziyu walked over suspiciously and looked at Fang Qi up and down. What are you looking at? Fang Qi reached out and pinched her cheek to stop her head from moving. I must make sure that you are really my boss. Jiang Ziyu said while stomping her feet. No, I feel like he is the real shop owner. Yi Ziyu said, I'm sure that senior gave him private lessons. Elated, Yi Ziyu rushed over, saying, I want to become that senior's disciple. Sir, do you still need employees? Sudden understanding dawned on the others, and the rest of the people asked in a hurry, Sir. Do you need more employees? Seeing others trying to get her job, Jiang Ziyu got anxious like a kitten whose tail got trodden. Not at all. Of course, you do. Yi Ziyu pointed at the shop on the other side of the street and said, You have a new shop. What then? Can you do the cleaning? Can you do laundry and cook? Why should I do those things? Do you want the owner to do these chores? Jiang Ziyu said with her hands resting on her hips. Standing on the side, Fang Yi thought, I'm surprised at this lowly knows so much about her job now. You're right Yi Ziyu froze and then felt dejected. I guess I can do none of those things. Jiang Ziyu felt smug with her head raised. But I know spiritual spells. It's no big deal. I know spiritual spells too. I'll show you the cloud summoning technique of our cloud ocean faction. Shame on you for showing us such a low level spiritual spell. We have the fog summoning technique. Not impressed. Fang Yi watched the two girls bicker with each other. Sensing a headache on the other side. Who? We're saved finally. Dropping onto the ground listlessly, Lin Shao and Zhu Luo touched the cold sweat on their backs, saying, if we were taken back, we'd be finished. They shivered uncontrollably when they thought of the potential contemptuous looks from their families if they got kicked out of the academy. Song King Feng also heaved a sigh of relief. Sir, our hearts were in our throats. I almost died of fear. Anyway, thank you for what you did for us. After getting up from the ground, Lin Xiao's face twitched. Sir, can you do me another favor? What's it? Our cultivation strengths are sealed, 
and we can break the seals Lin Shao and Zhu Luo looked embarrassed. After all, they would be in trouble if people found that their cultivation strengths were sealed when they got back to the academy. All in all, Song Qingfeng and the others went back home without incident. Meanwhile, this incident was reported to King Bing. What? Two instructors from the academy were defeated by the shop owner in front of the Origin Internet Club? King Bing slammed the desk with furious force. What kind of Australs are they? How come they are so useless? Standing before him was an iron tower looking middle aged male instructor with a red complexion and a tough body. That shop is extraordinary, and I'm afraid that ordinary instructors are no match for the shop owner. Indeed King Bing trailed off and sank into deep thought. In the instructor's residence of Lingyan Academy, the morning sunshine shone in through the glass while Mu Hong Tzu read the lesson plan on the desk as usual. The eminent national examination was of great importance to the whole Lingyan Academy and its elite disciples. The combat techniques were the most important part of the examination, and she, as a combat technique instructor, had a great responsibility on her shoulders. This morning, the instructor's residence was livelier than usual, especially among the instructors who were managing the Hong House. I heard that Instructor Zhu and Instructor Li went to that small shop named Origin Internet Club to capture disciples but got kicked out in humiliation. Is it true? Director Kin has issued the order forbidding the disciples from going there. How dare anyone break his rule? It's true. Instructor Zhu and Instructor Li are still recovering from their injuries. It's said they might be expelled from the academy. That's severe. Instructor Mu. As the supervisor of Klasa, Chen Zhong was close to Mu Hongzu. When he passed her desk, he greeted her and said, The instructors have been talking about it since early morning. Don't think much of it. Mu Hongzu nodded. The news spread quickly. Despite the academy's efforts on hiding the incident, many people witnessed that battle, which meant that it was only a matter of time before the news was spread all over the place. She was a bit more curious about this small shop and wondered what magic it had that drew the disciples to it even at great risks. Then, she shook her head slightly, trying to get these thoughts out of her head. After all, many urgent matters awaited her. Meanwhile in Lingyan Academy, I had that some people entered the Origin Internet Club wearing masks and came back safe and sound. Zaiki had several schoolmates around him. Come on, we'll try it tonight as well. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go and get some masks now. We'll leave the Academy together tonight. Nailin Mingju was also in the Academy. Ms. Nailin, Lam Yao looked regretful saying, we left early last night. If we stayed longer, we would have watched the shop owner use the innumerable sword scroll. With the shop owner defeating two instructors, it means that we can go and play games without worrying about being caught, right? With a frown, Nailin Mingju said, tonight, we'll go and play Counter-Strike and practice our skills with guns. Awesome. Lanyan said she felt happy that she could finally play in relaxation. We can ask the shop owner and the others to join us to play that map called Dust.